Hi everyone, uh, we have Calvin here. We just finished weekly contest 145. So let's discuss about the third question, longest while performing interval. So we are given hours, a list of number of hours work per day for given employee and we are asked to re being asked to return the longest well performing interval. So what longest well performing interval means uh, we are being asked to return a sub array that have a number that is larger than 8 more than the number that is less than or equals to 8. So for example in this array one of the sub array is 996 here. Right, so 996 is we have two member that is above 8 and one member that is less than or equals to 8. So uh, this is a valid subarray because the number that is larger than 8 is more than the number that is less than or equals to 8. So another example, if we how, how about if we take this array whole array as the subarray, then it's not a valid list because we have three number of 9 and for number that is less than or equals to 8 which is the number that is less than or equals to 8 is more than the number that is above 8 so let me show you another example so here we have a list this is the list from the example and I add two more 9 there so what it will be is like um, if we take the whole array we will have five number that is above 8 and four number that is below 8 which is a valid so uh, in this case, our output will be 9 because this subarray have the length of 9. So how we're going to calculate that thing is by using a range sum. So we, first we need to prepare the sum first. So we start from left to right. So every time we made a number that is um, more than 8, we add 1. So initially it's 0, we add 1, which is one, become 1. And we made another one. So from this one, we add another one here. And every time we made something that is less than or equals to 8, we minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. And when we make something above 8, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. So what this range can do is like, uh, it makes us easier to check the range sum. So for example, we want to know like from this index i until this index j, how many number of 9 and num how many number, how many number above 8 and how many number below 8 comparison so for example here uh, we have j minus 1 here and uh, the i we check what index before it which is 1 so minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 so that means here we have two extra member from less than 8 compared to the number uh, above 8 so as you can see we have two number of 9 and four number that is below 8 so that's uh, what's the minus two mean means like this four is uh, settled and we have two more extra that is less than nine so less than eight so this is not a valid range so let's change it to another range here so let's say here um, we put an i here and we put a j here right so from this range we have one and minus 0 because 1 index before this is 0 so 1 minus 0 is 1 which is positive so if the range is positive then it's a valid subarray uh, which means from this member we have one extra member from uh, larger than 8 so yeah so um, because the limit here is 10,000 right so 10,000 time, uh, times 10,000 it's n square so n square is like 100 million which is still in the time range so yeah we can look through all the ij like uh, for the range sum itself so let me show you the code so what the code here is firstly um, we do the range sum if the number is larger than 8 then we plus 1 from the previous range or if it's less than or equals to 8 then we minus 1 which is uh, as I explained there and then after that we do a range sum from index i and j so we try to find all i j um, loop which uh, where the j is less than uh, larger or equals to i so yeah from there we get the range sum like uh, i explained like um, the left part is taking from the one previous index and the j part is taking from the that, that index sum so in this example like minus 1 minus 1 
it's mean it equals to minus two so this is not a valid range so another example here is one here and i i there and j here so j on the right so one minus one minus minus one which is zero right so oh sorry one minus minus zero one minus zero because here the previous index is zero so one minus zero is one so it's positive so this is the valid range so if it is a valid range we return the range itself as the maximum so j minus i plus one is the range of this and we store it as a maximum there and return the output so yeah that's all about this question yeah, and thank you see you on the next weekly contest